As I mentioned to you, in Blazor you can create different types of applications that can be distinguished based on the hosting model. The first type is Blazor Server based on Signal R. Hello, this is Kazimierz Spin. Welcome to the Code with Kazik channel, where I demonstrate how to effectively learn programming and become a successful programmer. Here, everything is executed on the ASP.NET Core application server, meaning the application code and logic are on the server and all updates on the client, i.e. in the browser, are handled using Signal R via WebSockets. So, it looks like when you first launch the application, you download a trimmed down version of it instead of the entire app, similar to how the WebAssembly version operates. Then, all user interactions are sent to the server via WebSockets. The server responds to these interactions and updates the web page accordingly, providing a seamless user experience while minimizing the initial download size. Such a solution has its pros and cons. As for the cons, the application operates more slowly, with each response coming from the server via Signal R, which can cause slight delays for each request, sometimes becoming cumbersome. The second drawback is scalability issues. If you have many users on the website and each one is constantly communicating with the server via Signal R, it can unfortunately burden the server and with a very large number of users, problems may arise. Therefore, with more users, you would simply need a bigger, better server. On the other hand, when it comes to advantages, the application download size in this mode is much smaller than with WebAssembly, so the initial connection will be faster. The application uses server resources, so we have all the server-side security measures in place and we can easily use various server-side libraries. The code is not exposed to the client. There are minimal browser requirements and the Blazor server application will work flawlessly on most browsers, including older versions. That's it for the first hosting model. Now let's move on to the next lesson. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this film, be sure to join my community where you'll also have access to exclusive additional materials and most importantly, fantastic special bonuses. The registration link is located in the description box below the video. See you in the next episode.